Hey, this is Eric McCready, and this is my video response to Williams' Poetry Video Contest. I'll be reading On the Nature of Starlings by Maury Creech. More than when the fronds of silk trees feathered down on the front lawn, or the slant light burnished the hoods of junked cars in the pasture, more than when banked leaves smoldered at the edge of the field, for you, autumn stretched its wing over the ten roofs and cornrows when the first starling slipped down to comb the still flourishing landscape, stripping the ripe kernels, or scrawled like scripture across the branches of evergreens. Theirs was the sheer precision of appetite, though often from roadsides and windows you admired their industry, how they gleaned from slag heaps and shards of broken glass the least grain or morsel of fallen seed black threads stitching the cloth of heaven. To hear them calling from the barn roof or weather vane was to know the raw music of grief, or so you believed, as though each loss lay upon your heart like a glossy feather. So that what I wanted to tell you this afternoon, as I stood in the garden and watched them hunt for strewn seeds and settle without hesitation on the sleeve of the scarecrow, was that, surely, this is how absence accumulates starling by starling, wing by wing, reconstituted as elegy. And though I could not quite remember or hear your one voice above the noise of that raucous choir, I wanted to listen for a moment, and to praise them, if only for their stubborn persistence, of how they flock at the margins of memory, and will not scare, no matter how the dark drops down, feather by feather, dismantling the light. Thanks.